According to the committee, the informal economy policy needs a new approach to understand the informal economy and its importance. The committee said the informal economy provides more of the incomes of local citizens than the formal economy. People involved in the informal economy comprises of women, children, elderly, and people living with disabilities, who most often cannot find work in the formal economy. The committee finds that PNG's informal economy is focused on food production and trade, where trading takes place in residential areas, in markets, on road sites, are on institutions, mines and plantations, and some traders are mobile. They find that the informal economy has been growing faster than the rest of the economy, but there are signs that it is stagnating unless there are reforms to promote productivity. It, it often takes uh, some facilities to try and help enable people who are fishing or involved in micro small-scale forestry activities or other activities uh, to, to be able to support them, to access um, finance, to be able to access markets, to be able to uh, go beyond their own immediate uh, area, to be able to access market in other centers and so on. So they need to come together as set themselves up as cooperative type groups or as business groups or to link with the formal economy. That's a really important link. With these findings and challenges, the Informal Economic Committee are pushing for the government to pass bills in Parliament to ensure that people in the informal economy are well taken care of. Cynthia Maku, National MTV News.